This one, to me, it's their luxury cleaning kit. This has all their high end stuff. It comes in a much higher end case and everything like that. And this one's about $95 on Amazon. So right out of the gate, you'll notice this is a soft carrying kit, which is kind of different. Uh, it is 600D polyester. So, you know, it's a good quality material. You can take it out to the range. When you pop it open, is when the luxury really starts to shine. So in here, everything is lined with velvet, first of all. So it's just, just got this real nice feel to it. And then you'll notice all of the, all the bristles and the brushes and things like that have their own individual case that's marked with the caliber. Now, one thing they wanted me to make, make clear here is this is not built like your standard sort of Chinese cleaning kit. This thing is built to really, really high standards for a couple reasons. Number one is, is like the brass bristles, everything like the core of the brass brushes and things like that are all really high end. But most importantly are these cleaning rods. To give you an idea, I want to read this thing that they sent over. So the rods have underwent a lot of testing before starting production. We tried copper, iron, stainless steel, aluminum, and other materials. We broke more than 600 rods in one year and tested and improved the structure of each rod and then finally developed this reinforced rod, which we've applied for a US patent pending and the rod has a longer service life than the general ones. That just shows you that they're, they're really trying to go the extra mile here and put out a, a good, long lasting quality product rather than just sort of a money grab. You know what I mean? Like they care about this product, which I think is super cool. To get into it on this side, first up you'll see it's organized very, very well. They all have their own individually marked um, containers here for all the brass bristle brushes. And then under the brass, we also have some cotton brushes as well. To give you an idea, these just have a threaded bottom that thread onto those rods. The inside of these cottons, normally these cottons, once again, will kind of start to deteriorate on you. Uh, the cores are really rugged, just like those rods. So they're gonna last you a long time. And then finally, one extra thing they threw in on this one is a 223 chamber brush. So for an AR, having this additional brush, which lets you get into your chamber and clean that out. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's just one less thing you have to carry around. So it's dope that they have an actual dedicated tool and spot for that. Now it comes with two T-handle rods. Uh, and what I like about these is they now have like a dedicated spot for them. So you can see it slides in like this and then it also slides into an elastic band on the handle as well. So it keeps them in place and you don't have to worry about kind of juggling them and losing them. We do have a bunch of extensions for those rods that comes in this extra little velvet bag. There's a male end and a female end. Just thread that in and that's how you can extend these. You can extend this thing out pretty much as far as you want to be able to deal with whatever size barrel you're needing. Now, another big upgrade with this kit is there's essentially two ways to clean your gun with this. One is you have this, this T-handle with the brushes. The other is sort of a snake setup. So they also have these guys right here, which is like a rope they're calling it couple different sizes. We've got a male and a female end. What's dope about these as opposed to just like a normal snake is the normal snake you just pull through the barrel and it is what it is. These, because they're threaded on the ends, allow you to, to still attach, you know, the brass bristle brush that you like and then the cotton brush that you like or whatever accessories you want, you can still use with this rope. So once you've kind of got your certain tools and calibers that you use often, you don't have to give those up just because, you know, you're dealing with a longer barrel or whatever. You now have an option to be able to clean with all those accessories, which I think is super dope. Lots of different sizes of those ropes as well. Now on this side of the bag, we have sort of this half pouch and there's just a bunch of different accessories thrown in here. Like this bag just has like a safety thing. It's got another T-handle if you want to thread that onto one of your ropes. You've got your standard cotton pouches. You've got uh, microfiber towels. You've got some plastic picks. But then there's two more containers in here. And now this container has just a bunch more accessories to be able to use with that rope or with those T-rods. And uh, you know, it gives you everything you need, all organized really, really well with different calibers. You've got a brush you can throw on there. It's just a super dope setup. And then in this guy is where you'll find a few different assortment of brushes as well as a higher quality pick. So that gives you an overview of the contents of the bag and how it's sort of laid out. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons. Pros I've kind of already gone over, but for one thing, I mean, it's just, it feels very luxurious. You gotta love the, the velvet. But what I really like is how well everything's organized. They've all got their own 
personal closed in containers. I love that. I love how well organized it is. I love how big and bold the caliber sizes are on it so you don't have to go searching for things. Other thing is, is these ropes. While I love the idea of these ropes and using these ropes, um, there's no real good way to store these. You know, like how they come is like just wound up like this and then sort of folded in on themselves and you can kind of make them somewhat compact and organized like this but even once they were in this shape i'd love again for there just to be a zipper pouch or something where i can store these that's the overall theme i think of this cons section is just this like half pouch i wish it was a little bit better organized maybe we throw this and this and maybe you know, the, the cotton swabs in here, and then there's some zipper pouches or something that would be dope to keep everything else in. It's just a lot of accessories to try and throw in this little half pouch. So that's really the only downside I think there is to this thing. Otherwise, it's a really, really dope kit that has everything you need to clean your gun. So let's put this thing to use. I'm gonna clean a gun real quick and show you kind of the way that I would do it with this kit. Okay, so I've got my gun field stripped here. I'm just going to thread on one of these brass brushes. Now I'm using the 38 cal brass bristle. It doesn't have one that calls out for nine millimeter, but uh, the 38 will work just fine. So keep that in mind. Once again, it doesn't come with any oil. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this CLP right here. Just throw some on the barrel and then take this brush through a couple times. I just wanna break up some of that buildup that's in here with this. Now that that's sort of broken up, I'm gonna take this brass brush off. Then I've got the matching 38 cal cotton swab here. And then I'm just gonna run that through here a couple times. You can see I got a pretty good amount off just by doing that alone. Now, normally if this was a deeper clean, I'd, I'd take a couple of these clean cotton swabs, go through till I got a really clean one out so I know that it's 100% clean. For the sake of this video, we'll just keep moving forward. Um, normally I might clean the spring up a little bit. I'm just gonna hit this slide right now though. I'm gonna jump into this little container, grab out one of the brass toothbrushes here. And I'm gonna hit the inside of this slide with some CLP, focusing specifically on the areas that are gonna get a lot of movement, areas that are touching the slide, or that are touching the frame, excuse me. So let's just get some of that grime off of there. And then I'm gonna take one of these big cotton swabs here and just clean that up. Now I'm gonna take the frame here and same thing, just apply a little bit of the CLP to the areas that are getting a lot of traction, things like the feed ramp, things like the areas here that are touching the slide, and then just give them a good scrub down. Take my cotton swab again. Last but not least is just throwing a couple drops on the slide here, and I'm gonna keep that on essentially as a lubricant. So obviously that was a super, super quick clean for the sake of the video. You can go as in depth with your cleaning as, uh, as you really need to with all of these tools at your disposal though. And uh, it's always going back into a really nice feeling bag. I think it's a pretty dope product. And so for that sub hundred dollars, I think this kit is going to do just about everything you need it to.